Hello and welcome to my latest FM21 Journeyman series here in Egypt with Massa Al Makata. I'm Steve Wiss, otherwise known as Meat Man Soccer. And in the last video, we had this incredible win against Al Ali in the Egyptian Cup quarter final. We were the first side to beat Al Ali in over 20 games. Came here extra time, it was a big surprise. The problem is now we've only got three days of rest and we're facing the side that's currently um, joint top of the Egyptian League with Al Ali. In fact, it looks like this team, Wadi Degla, could be on for a double because if they win the remaining uh, league games, they will be champions. So um, it's going to be tricky. Our head-to-head -head against them is is not good, as you might expect. We've lost uh, all four matches against them since we took over at the club. But, you know, I've always felt like we we're in the game against Wadi Degla, though. Uh, certainly this season, anyway. Both of the defeats were 2-0 um, they've just got a little bit of extra quality it's been the difference in, in both fixtures really um, we actually held out for 66 minutes in, in the away match and in the home game I think the, it was a late goal that got them a second we, we, we generally we, we were competitive the problem is here we, we're missing players it's as simple as that really um, we're missing our best defender Willardi. we're missing our best uh, right or left back Manma Wee, um, who else is out? We've got Khalifa, the demon is suspended. You know, our, our top player, Hanafi, just can't start. You know, I can tell you now, th this skin lets me see his, his actual physical condition. Um, this preset uh, green background skin, he's 69%. In old terms, you know, it's pretty obvious. You look at that, if you look at the heart, it's pretty obvious as well. He can't really start him if you want him to make an impact in the game I think you're going to have to you well you could start him and say you take him off at half time because he's got nothing left in the tank so do you want him first half or do you want him second half I'd rather have him in the second half and potentially extra time um, but you know we, we, we just got to go with what we have we're certainly lightweight here we're going with this system which has been serving us very well against the big teams this year we're going to need quite a lot of luck they've had I think 10 days to prepare for this game they haven't played since the 26th so um, but yeah, sorry, eight days they've had. I mean, it's going to be really hard, isn't it? They did lose their last league match against Pyramids, but we're not as good as Pyramids. If we did win this game, we make the Egyptian Cup final. It would be pretty damn sensational, wouldn't it? We just, we just, we're going to need luck. Like in the last in, against Al Ali, they missed a penalty, didn't they? And we managed to, you know, convert after that. We, we made the most of our luck. I think we're not. We're going to need them to miss multiple chances. Or, and our keeper's going to have to hell of a game here. And we're just going to have to be clinical with like the one or two that we get. Um, I don't see I don't see how many, but you, you do never know in football. Um, we, we're going to give it our best shot anyway. Whatever happens, we've had a fantastic run in this Egyptian Cup. And uh, hopefully we've still got another match to come after the final. Maybe they might feel the pressure of favouritism, I don't know. But um, at the end of the day, we will, we will certainly try our hardest. So... I just again but the bit like the Al Ali game just just want us to be competitive anything more than that is a bonus but when you get so close to a cup final as they they say in, in, in the media interviews that's we nearly concede inside 25 seconds you know you can almost feel it you can almost taste it you know we're so close to, to getting that far it would be a shame if we fell at this hurdle but you know we are lacking players it's a shame we're not anywhere near full strength maybe we can get something here and no, nothing comes of that unfortunately if we could just last to say the hour marker nil nil or even one nil down it would give us a chance with our top player coming in we get a cross in and maybe if someone had made an actual go for the ball we could have uh, done something there but they they do it it's a bit of instant control they come on the right hand side trouble here for us and it's off the crossbar we get it away, it looked like it might have even gone over the line. Somehow we've survived. Don't know how we managed to survive that one, but we did. That's a bit of, that's the sort of look we need today. Gotta to be brutally honest, I said we're gonna to have to ride our luck. There's the first bit of it. And we've gotta take that one one or two chances when they do come our way. Maybe this might be a highlight for us. My name, our right wing, he loses out. It teases you FM sometimes. You think it might be your highlight and it's not going to be. But we do win the ball back. Can we get something of his Al Sayed? Oh, he's missed his, missed his tackle. We get the shot away and that's the sort of chance we've got to take. We've got to take that sort of opportunity. 
Ah, oh, man. I mean, it wasn't a sitter by any means, but you've got to at least test the keeper, haven't you? Ah. Anyways, we have survived 22 minutes, 23 minutes. But they're in here on the left hand side. We need to get a block away. There's a chance. We get a very, very good block in there. That was definitely heading goal bound. Maybe the keeper would have saved it. But phew, we win the ball there. I like how we're winning the ball. Radwan looks long. That's unlucky. I feel like we might have the odd chance or two in this, in this game. If we're going to win the ball that high up. So two, there's a couple of highlights now. I've been impressed with how we've we've got the got it back in, in, in that area of the field. Anyway, we're run to 33 minutes now. We're going to keep encouraging the team. I think that's the, going to be the shout all game really. Uh, unless we were to be, um, you know, well down or, or ahead, then we'd be praising the players. Anyway, we've got a chance here from the throwing rad one. Little groups can maybe someone shoot from distance. No, or oh, they're going to win the ball. And this is the really dangerous sort of situation. We're going to have to need our goalkeeper to come to our rescue I was going to say but thankfully they drag it wide my word that was uh, that's a dangerous position to be in and now we've got a player how, how Bruce is absolutely shattered Solomon shattered we only played you know, we played extra time a lot longer the hell of a strike off the post now they've hit the crossbar on the post <sighs> it is half time I'm starting to wonder is it going to be our lucky day you know we needed we needed breaks like that um, I'm gonna say I'm pleased with how things are going we've got to game manage some of these guys like Al Grus is shattered Solomon shattered but we've got to keep him on the field as long as we can we've got Hanafi who can come on for Wad 1 at some stage but we've got to monitor the fitness of these players they, they put an awful lot in to the match the other day but for 45 minutes in we've held them so far and yes, they've hit the bar and crossbar, but would you call them clear-cut chances? I think the big the big chance, we've got an injury, by the way, here. And now we're down. Unbelievable strike from Mustafa. 30 seconds at that. What can you do about that? There's nothing. This is the quality they have. We were a man down. <laughs> they certainly didn't show any good sportsmanship by putting the ball out, did they? Mustafa's coming here with a it's top bins. I don't think any goalkeeper saving that. That changed the well, it doesn't really change the game plan yet. We might have to think about changing the game plan. We've we got an injury. Solomon is absolutely shattered. Can't keep him on the field any any longer, I don't think. Um, I think we'll bring on Jardiel. He can't necessarily play there. Now Jardiel, is he a left foot or a right foot? I can't remember. Um, he's a strong on either feet. I think we will do. Jardiel on that yeah we'll do that because we're probably going to move to a narrow formation at some point soon anyway you never know we might get back into sticking with this system that was some strike that I always said when we face them it's had a bit of extra quality like long from long range or something or a really good finish and ah oh, this is a hell of a run from they've got that ability we haven't got that when you're facing like El Ali or Zamalek or Pyramids they just kind of grind you down usually by Sheer chances great, and they've got the second goal. They hit the crossbar again, but they're just pouncing. I think this is a step too far for this team. We just haven't got the levels. We've hung on for as long as we can. Very unlucky. They were first time off the crossbar. Again, it's a little bit of quality. Great ball in, isn't it? I think we're uh, we're going to have to go attacking early, otherwise there's no point. We'll go with a narrow system. Because Jardy, I think that we have to bring Hanavi on now because it's, it's it's shit or bust time, isn't it? Uh, Groot is struggling. We have to bring Bile on there. Um, it's as simple as that, really. We've got to um, to last with these teams. But they their front three have turned up. Mustafa's had a great goal, <clears throat> and they've really come out in the second half well, haven't they? Anyway, we're much more attacking now. We're going to leave ourselves more vulnerable. And I do worry, but we've done well there. We've hit it away, but it's a really poor clearance. Really poor clearance. Ooh, I think third third, third goal would absolutely seal it. It'd be game over, no chance. Oh dear. 
Ah, oh, they should have scored. It was a completely blown coverage. Completely blown coverage there. Again, they come in with it. They've been really dangerous from set pieces all day. Are they going to look for a long range goal? They've got a man over here completely. The highlight's still not done. It probably, hopefully, is done from our point of view. Now it is. Right. We need to encourage these players. Again, we're giving away a free kick. They're very dangerous from these. Mustafa, who scored that goal. Unless there's more than one. He's in. Ah, oh, that's too good. They're just, they're just finding too much space, aren't they? And they're showing their real class in the second half for Al Val um, Vadi Degler. This look like this. This is a team that's probably going to win some silverware, I think, this year for them, for either league or cup or both. Keeper probably should have done better there, but um, I'm afraid this is game over now. Right, we get, we're not going to go down without some sort of a fight, though. Can we skip this replay? We know he was onside. We're gonna, we're gonna bloody have a go. You know, we're gonna change things here. We're gonna a little bit more direct. We're gonna be a bit more expressive. Let's go really high lines completely. We're gonna just go, just get stuck in, full pressing. Um, counter. You know, we're gonna try. We, we've got to give it a go. Maybe they might get complacent. Let's demand more from the players as well. Oh, they've got a fourth. Unbelievable. They've killed us on set pieces, haven't they? They've just... What on earth was said in their dressing room at half-time? Um, it's just completely rocketed them up my arse. And we looked good at half-time. We were fairly com uh, comfortable. But they've just... I mean... Against Alali, we were able to practice by defending free kicks. Uh, we couldn't do that this year. This is so, so bad I'm actually tempted to delete the video. We've got one back. Honestly, if this was a league match and I'd done a, a video on it, I probably wouldn't have gone with the game because we've been so bad here. But because it's a sem cup semi-final, we have to uh, we have to put it out there, I'm afraid. Because no one really wants to see... You want a bit of drama in the game, don't you, as viewers? You don't want to see me getting battered. Nevertheless, we've got to pull one back, you never know. I don't think we can get anything. It's just about pride now. Frustrated by the fee feedback. Why would they be frustrated by the feedback? Because we're 4-1 down. We're demanding more. I don't think it's asking a lot to demand more, is it? See if we can maybe fire them up next time. Might help. We can't do it yet. Your new set. Oh, they're in. That lovely, intricate ball they have. That's a good block. They've got some quality, this team, I must say. And it really shown it in this in this match. Yeah, across the way there. Can we can we actually get someone on the on the break maybe? Al Sayed, Al Sami, go on son. Fire up maybe? Might work. I mean we've got to make things happen quick, haven't we? Again it's that pass there, but Al Sayed does well. Radwan. Radwan. To Bile uh, again. Let's try and win the ball. When we win it, we just don't keep it enough. I know we're desperate here with desperate measures, but one before the outside. That's much better. Rad one. Again, there's no outlet for him. It's just, it's, they've contained him well. Outside there. As they look long. You see. Oh, we've done well there, Hamdi. This is a weird highlight. Outside. Is he on, actually on side? He was on side. Which surprises me. We actually let's encourage the team. They had ten shots at half time, but they just completely turned it on in the second half. These free kicks have killed us. The set pieces, maybe giving away too many fouls. And it's a shame. It's a shame it's gonna end like this. It would have been unbelievable if we could have made it into the cup final. Um but Ultimately, just a lack of quality and, and, and the wrong timing as well. At least they're getting stuck in here, I suppose. You know, they're going down, fighting Hanafi. Tried the shot, it's blocked. But they're that blitz period, 15 minutes before half time. He might even be sent off here. Yeah, we're going to be end up with 10 men. But yeah, he has nothing left in his tank. That's the problem. 
They're all absolutely shattered. You know, they've put a hell of a stint in in these last three or four days. You can't knock the players. You know, just to get this far is, is fair, fair dues. And I think this match kind of shows how far away it would be. How far away we are. They've got a fifth goal. It's disallowed. Um, we're m a miles away from challenging at the top end of the Egyptian league. I think this would be a really good challenge for any for anyone to take on. He wasn't. He wasn't actually offside. I don't think that was very marginal. Um, another foul given away. <sighs> given away way too many fouls in this half. Yanusa over it, another ball in. He's given a penalty. <laughs> another foul, and this time it's a penalty. It's going to be probably another goal. Yes, five. Ouch. Well, they've absolutely smashed the shit out of us. But yeah, I, think, I actually think it would take a good three, four, five years to potentially win this league. If I stayed at this club, I would have to really, like, I'd have to buy, I'd have to really search hard for great youngsters and develop them and maybe sell them. It would be a heck of a challenge to actually, to, you know, to, 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 end, to compete at the top end of this league. It's going to be six, Jesus Christ, they are saying. This is why you, you don't go so open and, and so attacking, because teams like this can just rip you to pieces. I mean, we had to have a go, didn't we, when we were three, four down, but they have just roasted us here. Six, one, four. God, this is one of the worst defeats we've had. You wouldn't have believed this was nil-nil at half-time, would you? I mean, not that it matters now. The game's been done for quite a long time. I mean, they have to berate the players here. I mean, just they just need to be berated when you go six-one down. But um, yeah, they just they just turned it on second half. I wouldn't be surprised if something comes up in the message box afterwards that says, "Ah, oh, their manager roasted them at half-time." Team talk inspired the second half performance. We're going to have to... Do you know what? Let's throw the water bottle. Let's throw it. We've never thrown it. I don't think I've ever thrown it at this club yet. So why not do it? As good as it, as good as they are, as a disgrace. So... And anyway, what we're going to do now... We've actually got another game in two days' time in the league. We've got four league games remaining. We have decided to leave this club. Uh, we do want. I do want to play these final four games, um, and I could easily just play them and then resign. But um, I think what we're going to do. And I've never done this. I don't know if anyone else has ever done this. But I'm going to resign from the club. Not immediately, but end end of the club season. See what happens. So that's my intention. I'm going to say that. And there we go, meet my soccer to leave at El Masaron Casa at the end of the season. Okay, and then we're going to have someone coming with uh, an interview. Why have you decided to leave them? Let's have a look. Um, I think the time is right to move from new challenges. And I hope I'm able to go out in style. It's the right time for a change around. It would be fantastic if we could part company have an experience successful end of things. I'm not going to explain my decision. I won't go into Pacifics, but it's definitely the right move for me at the right stage in this stage of my career. Of course, I'll remain fully focused on the job for as long as I'm here. Some things aren't what they used to be, and I feel I owe it to myself to do what's best for everyone involved. I don't like that one. Um, I think the top one, right to, to move on to new challenge and see what they said. Uh, what's next for Steve McMahon Soccer? What are your ambitions? I want to work at the very top level of the game and be looking for the best opportunity. Everyone's ambitious. <laughs> We look at the likes of Diego Simeone and it could be me one day. This is an interesting choice here. I'm thinking something different. Something I might not have previously considered. I want to fall in love with football all over again. And I don't know for sure, but I don't want to go straight back into a job like this one. Oof. I think, um, I think we say everyone's ambitious, maybe. I'll say... So yeah, that's it. We, we are going to be resigning at the end of the season. Does that make any difference to my profile or not? 35%. I wonder if we could be cheeky. I don't know. We can't be, I was going to say, can we get a, uh, working on the Continental A, a license would be interesting. Um, contract info. Does it say I'm resigning? 
withdraw resignation, so I can actually change the res resignation. What did the board say? There's nothing said from the board, but hey, we intend to resign at the end of the season anyway. We've got four matches left. What I might do, I might come back and do a season review just to sort of show where we are. Or I might not decide to do it. I might just sort of uh, come back. The next video could be um, yeah, the next club we're at. I suppose there's no real point um, doing a season review. We'll see how I feel. We might um, we might do it, we might not. But yeah, well, a sad way uh, if this is the last uh, sort of video of, of Egypt here in Massa on the cast. I've enjoyed the league. It's been a big challenge. We've got to a cup semi-final, which I think is a really good achievement. Um, there's some really tough, big sides. These top five or six, certainly the top five, and are just brutal. Are they they they've just been so uh, strong we've, we've, we haven't managed to beat we still haven't been able to beat any of the top nine teams in the league and we, we're not going to I think we, we, we play Harris El Hadoud we could still do it I'm just glad I'm, I'm, I'm leaving this club and we did manage to beat Al Ali over you know in the cup but yeah we, we are going to leave in two seasons we're gonna, we haven't beaten any of the top nine in the league that just shows how hard it is and you know, I'm, I'm a fairly experienced FMer, and I built up a team here which is not bad. That just shows you how big the gap is. And um, yeah, it, in some ways, it intrigued me to stay here for a longer period and to see how long it would take to actually win the Egyptian League. I think a year's away. I think it's generally at least, very minimum, three seasons. Probably more likely to be four or five. Anyway, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen when the next season, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I mean, we were competitive for the first half. I almost feel embarrassed to have lost 6 1 there. But that is FM for you. It can happen. Um, um, I've given you the wrong flipping screen. <laughs> but um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, remember, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this. Uh, follow me on the social above and on the Twitch channel. But thanks very much for watching. Stay safe, take care. And I'll see you next time.